few remarks. And first is to welcome you to Siaya. Siaya is your home, and I know in answer to your constitutional duties as head of government and head of state, fiercely for appointing a little while as a cabinet secretary. I know him. I can vouch for him as a worker, as a scholar, as a writer, and as, as a thinker, and as a strategist. And I know Assembo and CIA are better with Owalo in the cabinet of William Samoy Ruto. And I hope in the fullness of time you are going to be able to appoint other people from this region to escort Owalo. You know, Deputy President was uh, parading some people from this region, like, but like Oliver Twist, we still want some more. And we know we are going to get some more. But Owalo, I can assure you, as you serve in the national government, because the standard has been set that the national government and the county government should work together seamlessly for the benefit of the citizens of Kenya. I know that today uh, we are coming not because the head of state is in an official visit to Siaya. This visit was primarily to celebrate the appointment of Eliud Owalo. So I asked the president this morning, earlier, that please come to Siaya again so that we, you can tour the whole of Siaya from one end to the other. Your president cannot go Siaya Kai. And the reason why I know that will help us today, just this morning, we put a little request to the president. We are trying to encourage people from this part of, the, of Kenya to be farmers. We want to be food secure. The county government has provided tractors and we are going to provide subsidized uh, fertilizer. But the president today told us that of the tractors that we have already acquired, he is going to facilitate us to get an, an additional 20 tractors to come and help the people of Siaya. Secondly, along the river in Zoya, we got two major projects. And basically, one is a water project the Ukwala Sega Ogunja Water Project. He has challenged us as a county to do our part, and that uh, project is going to be completed. In uh, Lego, where people grow rice, like many other parts of the county, we had procured a meal, but we did not have sufficient funds. The president has said, he is going to provide funds to enable us acquire a big mill for our farmers in Siaya County. And I know here in Assembo, the road known as Kamito Kalandini Kaelija should be tarmacked like yesterday. I had the benefit of flying with the president over this area and I can assure as a matter of duty the president is going to ensure that that road is completed and he said all the roads that are stalled in Sierra County just like in other parts of the Republic of Kenya they are going to mobilize the contractors to come back to come and make sure that those roads are done. In Luanda Cotieno, we have a project which was done by the government for fish processing. 
he has assured us that if we hold discussion with his government that fish processing plant together the one in which loom are uh, going to be get into business and i want to uh, uh, applaud you your excellency you seem to know everywhere in Sia. you need to know every road i don't know what you need, used to do here before but uh, <laughs> I, was, I was very impressed about that so i know we are on the right track i just wanted to say one thing as patriots as kenyans we as elected leaders and i'm saying this thing with all the seriousness and the command of my words that it is wrong for us to talk about 2027 for those who have been elected we should be talking about what we are doing now 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 not 2027 and i am happy that the president you are here because you have assured us that your, your government is kicking and working in Sierra and the entire Republic of Kenya, not because of 2027, but because that is the duty we were elected to perform. I also am gratified that the two levels of government, Your Excellency has assured us that we are going to work together in accordance with the Constitution and in accordance with the county government and all related statutes. And for that, we thank you, Mr. President. Finally, I want to ask the people of Kenya. We are one nation. We are one nation. The Kenyan people, we are one nation. We should never build borders or walls. A Kenyan should be ready and prepared to go anywhere in, in, in any part of this republic and leaders if we say things the way we should say them this country is going to be one indivisible republic under god that is looking to the future with optimism and vision and i think that is going to help this country stride to a higher level finally Mr. President, I ask you in the spirit, not of the handshake, but in the spirit of togetherness, I urge you to sit together on the table of brotherhood with your brother, Raila Amolo Odinga. Because, because the elections are over. The elections are over. I'm here with people I've worked with. I uh, see Governor Mutua uh, Weta, who is very eloquent, and we have been to many places with him. We have worked with Mudavadi, His Excellency. Even your Deputy President, I've worked with him. And I've worked with you, President Ruto. I know when you stand for something, like when you were in Serena defending Aguambo, I knew you as a big, big, big fighter. But for the good of Kenya, I urge you that we should come together on the table of brotherhood to move together as a nation so that we don't divide our people. Otherwise, I spoke to Raila Molodinga about an hour ago, and he said that I should pass to you his word of welcome. president uh, I'm speaker of the National Assembly, Moses. Weta Ngola. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I'm sorry. There's a, a little 